Good morning. We're in the uh, beautiful hills around Malvern, Ledbury, um, and uh, we're riding some bikes. Probably not, as you can see here on the road. We're at the Triumph Adventure Centre on the Tiger XCX800. The name of the game here is steady and slow wins the race. This is uh, this is very different, we're told straight away in the briefing, this is very different from the BMW off-road centre with side pavies where you know you sort of you get to A to from A to B as fast as you can. This is very much getting from A to B. You know the course is centered around the expedition side of things and um, all sorts of other training. The maximum you have in one group is four. So and usually you have one, two or three at the very most. Oh shit that's slippery. So it's very much one-to-one -one and personal tuition and based on ride experience. I mean, it absolutely pissed down yesterday. It absolutely pissed it down. Oh, it's just got carnage written all over this if you go any faster. We spent the first sort of half an hour just riding around in the fields at the top and on the, on the mud and the, the, the grass, the watery grass. And uh, it was very much using the clutch rather than the throttle and, and uh, in fact, not even touching the throttle and letting the bike work because it has got this, oh shit. I mean, these are stock Tiger 800s as well, just with those sort of trailing tyres on. So it's not exactly, uh, not exactly prime for this sort of thing. It's an easy bike to ride though. We're on the low saddle as well. And we're approaching this uh, today as a, as a proper school. You know, I'm doing day one. So you start at the very beginning and we're doing a little tour around all the bits they use for the school. You can't skip a day, you do day one, no matter how good you are, you do your day one, do your day two, day three and day four, so. Oh, wet gusset. I just ride over some crops. <laughs> it looks lovely, doesn't it? But it's so greasy. Shit. Oh, the wing mirrors come off. The day costs 260 quid. No matter what level you're at, no matter what day you do, one, two, three or four, it costs 160 quid and that includes a day on the bike. So they're all brand new, well I say brand new, they're new Tiger 800s. I feel like I'm a plough, I'm a, a Massey Ferguson ploughing. Um, yeah, every October they're taken back to Hinkley and then March new ones come. So. <laughs> oh, I've got arm pump already. Relax, 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 relax. Plow the fields and scatter. Da, 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 da. I've got a loose wanger. Richard? I've got a flappy, uh... Richard, I've got a flappy thing. Dickie, I've got a flappy thing. Oh. I take it you don't use the cruise control function. <laughs> She's a bit greasy, Sarge. The smell of pheasant poo is uh, intoxicating. You know, as I said, this is um, it's very much slow and steady wins the race. And Richard's from a forces background, so it's a it's a survival mode rather than a competition mode. I get the feeling. Oh man, this is beautiful. I think the beauty of off-road is. You really got to challenge yourself. You really got to push yourself beyond your, get out of your comfort zone because otherwise you just become a stagnant mess. And uh, you go stiff on the bars and you you don't progress. And uh, we see all too many novices and people who got, haven't got the confidence when they're perfectly good riders, uh, just become a fearful of off-road. But I don't know how you become fearful of this. It's just jizzy. Yeah, it's a bit more sort of uh, trialsy, a bit more slow paced and chilled and relaxed and certainly not an enduro element. I think I can already tell if you're a adrenaline junkie, high speed fanatic, kamikaze mucklap, then uh, you probably won't enjoy this as much. It's definitely not against a stopwatch, that's for sure. <laughs> 
So many flies. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so easy to get a little bit too confident though. That said, I like this bike. Gotta say, smooth, predictable, light, low seat. And the bonus is I haven't crashed yet. Nice Phil. Here are guys, city kids and city girls. You're getting a first-hand experience of agricultural farming. Oh shit, I need to farm my pants then. It's funny, I had a mate, he's, he worked with me on the race team last year. He's 20, 21 years old, I think. And he'd never seen, he'd never been out of London properly and never seen countryside or cows in, in fields. And Oh, right, look at that. Barb. That's the beauty of off-road is that you're never riding the same bit twice, unless you're on a motocross track or you're riding the same bit twice, but, but it's all new, it's all, uh, it's all fresh and something to absorb. <laughs> it just it kicked sideways and that was it and it was just once the momentum was gone it's, it's, I saw you kick sideways I thought yeah, yeah. blimey that's weird and it went whoa yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's tricky <laughs> holy wow I mean yes if you buy a bike like a you know an adventure bike and more and more people are actually now are actually taking their adventure bikes off road but really you've got to be able to come to a place like this to be able to ride this stunning scenery and landscape. I mean, there are green lanes, um, there are plenty of other trails around, you can take these bikes, but you've got to know someone pretty special or, use the front brake, use the front brake, use the front brake, or come to a school like this to be able to ride this sort of thing. So. It is truly amazing though. What, what a place. I mean, it's worth the 260 quid just to come and experience this. I just saw a sheep doing a lunge. That's got to be a first, isn't it? So this is the last sort of loop of your day one of the, of the, of the introductory day course. And um, this has got a lot, all sorts of different challenges and obstacles to get to get oh, oh, oh shit now shit now whoa what was they expecting this see I mean the fact that these guys are getting novices off-road novices through the basics of riding up and down a hill and riding on wet grass and riding through mud etc and then bringing them here is uh it's pretty cool. You know, for novices to do that, I'm no Dakar expert, but I've ridden off road since I was about eight. You still got to treat it with caution. I can see why you get a real sense of achievement riding this sort of thing on a big bastard bike like this. Feet down, feet down, feet down. Fucking hell, Nigel. Right, take it steady. Take it steady. My brand new Alpine Stars gear. My brand new creamy white Alpine Stars gear is not so creamy now. In fact, while we're here, has anyone got any tips on how to clean adventure gear? That's one ugly motherfucker, isn't it? Oh, I just had a nice chicken sandwich with uh, fresh lemon chilli. And I'm feeling rather, I don't know, 
ready for some more mud. That was basically what we done in the morning was, was day one. So that was the introductory training as such or the, the, the work that has gone into day one and then we're gonna go and see some day two you know, see some day two stuff now. Uh, the terrain's a bit more rocky, a bit more challenging. Oh, keep pedaling mate. Whoa. Good job we got some uh, hand guards on. And a Nige. Now for a bike that was based or oh, sorry, from an engine that was based on a street triple. You know, for pure road, you know, roads to fun. It's a really, really nice off-road motor as well. Plenty of punch at the bottom. More importantly, super smooth. Now, it does help being an 800 as well. You know, you're not, you're not fighting off 150 horsepower or ride-by-wire idiosyncrasies. I keep forgetting to say, Chrissy Wissy Von Baron Grumble. Um, he was supposed to be here as well today, but apparently he's got some work on. Uh, and he couldn't make it. <laughs> Kel surprise. I think it's just an excuse really. He wanted to be shown up. We'll end up underneath the Triumph Tiger. Uh, but, yeah, it's a shame really, because it would have made a brilliant two bike video, dual vlog, but oh well. Oh, oi oi. He's on it. How cool is this? That was good fun, that little bit. That was really good fun. Okay, so just run that a few times by yourself now. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, you know where you're going. Got all stiff then. Stiff and tense. Cost like proper jungle shit, isn't it? It's just beautiful though. You know, you can't just turn up and ride anywhere public in these sort of environments. But you know, 260 quid. A lot of people would moan and do moan about the price of it, like as Richard has experienced with his customers. They, a lot of them do ask for discounts and stuff, but wow. Uh, but 260 quid for a day's training on someone else's bike. It's, not, it's the going rate, isn't it really? Whether it's one of them school or, uh, well it's, actually it's more than that, isn't it, one of them school. Um, but on track training, circuit training, you know, you pay that for a, a track day. Yes. Yes. Sweating like a good one now. I can see why you wouldn't want to take your 10 grand bike on the terrain like this. I genuinely can. But that's what these sort of days are for, isn't it? God, bloody hell. Excuse the profanities and the uh, fuck, that's slippery as well. And the uh, puffing and puffing. Oh, just a just a whiff of throttle, send it sideways. <laughs> oh man. The definition of breathtaking. Just riding for a field on a Triumphic Tiger. That's all I'm doing. Hairs. Hair and a tortoise. And I suppose that's quite an apt point to bring up, actually. If you like doing 400 miles an hour, and all you're doing is, all you're interested in doing is opening that throttle, you probably won't enjoy this much. But if you like taking the scenery, riding something completely unique, I'm not talking about the bike, I'm talking about the, uh, the environment and the the land and are willing to learn something you will absolutely love this thank you very much that was really really good fun